Good afternoon, my name is Boyd. I'm a local fisherman here, and I fish for mostly pike. In fact, that's all I fish for. So what we're gonna do this afternoon is we're gonna give everybody a chance to see how easy it is to clean these northerns. They're great eating. First thing I like to do is, I like to, I like to bring fish to the cleaning station that are somewhere between 23, 26, 27 inches. If they're shorter than that or longer than that, they're really not worth it. The other thing is the body's type. If they're really skinny, they're hard to clean. So, and I never bring a live fish in here. So I'm right-handed and it does make a difference in how you, you know, if you're left-handed, you're gonna have this fish turned the other way. But here's the one thing that you always wanna do. You know, and you see a lot of people worrying about these fins. Don't worry about it. You just make a cut to the, to the uh, bone in the neck, go straight down between them. Just turn and run that fillet off there, just like you always do. And that's where it becomes important, because if you don't do this well, it's gonna be really, really tough to help you out. So you wanna have a fillet that's nice and uniform and easy to see. So then you do the other side. Same way, just run it right down to the end. And you don't wanna have to worry about that fin that's on there. I know a lot of people cut around it, but you don't need to worry about it, because that's coming off when we take out the belly bones. Now here's the next part. If you're right-handed like I am, this, the, the piece of the fish that's head facing to the right is gonna be way easier for you to do. So you just go ahead and take that belly meat out of there, but you have to be a little bit careful because if you don't leave enough meat down below that lateral line right there, you won't have anything to hold on to. So you can't just take and cut the belly out of there or else you're not gonna be able to clean the rest of the fish. Here's the most important part. Right here is a row of bones and you can see them right here. Those Y bones, they're sticking straight up. Then the other important line on a fish is the lateral line, okay? That's what you use to determine where you're coming back from the second time. Okay, so because it's a Y, a Y bone, when you make that first cut, you just go just to the outside edge all the way down. And you only make that cut about that deep because if you go deeper than that, you're gonna cut through the bone and it won't be boneless. And then you just angle the knife. Now you got one totally boneless piece right there. Now the next thing you do is you come back and you go at a 45 degree angle underneath this lateral line. Now this is how fast you can clean a fish. And you just slide that knife all the way down. That's what you lose out of a northern pike. This, check this out, totally boneless. Now we're going, we're going to go do the piece that I'm not left-handed, so this, you have to do it a little bit different. You still take the belly bones out the same way. You have to be careful to make sure you're leaving enough. You still take the top piece off the same way. You look for that row of bones on the top, and you just make a slice all the way down, about a quarter to, a little bit more than a quarter inch. Angle the knife blade, that's totally boneless. You don't want to start sawing, so what I do is this. I put my knife about three inches down the lateral line, and I'm gonna make about three cuts. You're gonna lose a little bit more meat out of this side because, of, because I'm right-handed, but still, that's, this is all you lose out of that whole fish. This is it. Well, nobody was gonna eat these anyway, and here's all the Y bones that there are. So you get a fabulous batch of meat here out of a northern, and it's totally boneless, two-year-olds can eat it.